Hey guys, I'm Sage Valentine, and I'm back to review another episode of CBS's Big Brother Season 18, episode number 30. It's going to be a quick review, so let's just get down to it. I'm not surprised that Paul succeeded in blowing up Nicole's game. I'm not surprised that Paul won the veto. Heck, I'm not even surprised that Paul started from the bottom and now he's here. This dude, in my opinion, has the biggest chance of winning the game at this point because he's literally one of the best players left in this game. <laughs> Between him and Nicole, and I don't like Nicole very much, but I'll tell you, she did a number on Natalie by telling Natalie that Paul was targeting James because all of a sudden Natalie had tunnel vision, was not thinking that Nicole could be playing her, and when it was finally revealed that Nicole was playing her, Natalie's head went into a tailspin. Paul has every right to be angry that he was nominated because he thought that he and Victor and James and Natalie had this really big alliance, but unfortunately they didn't because they, as Paul suspected, made a deal with Nicole and Corey. And Victor revealed that Paul was the target and that Victor was the pawn and that made Paul even more upset. He wanted to know why he was a liar. Michelle basically told him that she thought that he was a liar because he knew that Davon was going home and Paul's like, I didn't know, but six people did come to me saying they wanted day gone. And James knew that Bridget was my target. James sure did know. In fact, James knows a lot of things. It's funny how no one ever catches James. He's been on for two seasons, and he's using the same strategy, and no one ever seems to really catch up to what the heck he's doing. Paul reveals that Paulie said you need to get James out, but during that conversation, don't forget, Corey and Nicole were both present. It's funny how nobody knows that. Paul said that Michelle and Natalie suck at the game. I mean, after the decisions they made this week... I plead the fifth. There you go. You guys let me know what you think about that statement, but I plead the fifth. Um, Nicole and Corey are super happy that they're safe. Natalie says that Paul's been telling lies. I'm just like, no, he told one truth. He revealed that Paulie threw James under the bus. He also said that one of those two, Corey or Nicole, should not be trusted. And Natalie reveals she's upset because James's name was thrown under the bus. And she says that she didn't want to be HOH. And she starts crying. And I'm just like, this is so a part of her strategy. And if it is, and it's keeping her in this game, more power to her. But this is definitely strategy. Paul says that Nicole and Corey lied to Natalie, Michelle, and James. And he says that if one of them wins, then Corey should go up on the block. And by one of them, I mean... Paul or Victor, and by winning, I mean winning the veto. Paul is pissed at Nicole and Corey for making up lies. And Michelle's just like, they know, Michelle. Natalie's just like, they know that James is her soft spot. Natalie felt bad for putting Paul on the block. And I'm just like, you know what, Paul is a master manipulator, just like they said. Because he definitely made Natalie question her own moves and question her emotions. Man, Paul's playing the hell out of this game. Victor adds his two cents in. He's just like, listen, if I win the veto and I take myself down, Corey needs to go up. So now it's Operation Backdoor Corey. Michelle wants Paul gone, but she agrees to this whole Operation Backdoor Corey thing. But she also doesn't want Victor or Paul to win the veto. Unfortunately, she doesn't get her wish because, as we know, Paul won the veto. James just wants Natalie back on the right track, i.e. the track that gets him the furthest in the game. Because really, since Natalie is the HOH, she should be working on and focused on making the right moves for her own game, despite the fact that she's in a showmance. But unfortunately... James is steering the course to a certain extent. So, 
Paul decided to confront Nicole and he basically said that he knows he's on the block because of her. He wants to know how he's a liar and a manipulator. And of course, she had to say she did not lie or make anything up. She did. She did. Corey pops up after being called to the diary room and he starts stripping off that patriotard and he made the entire situation awkward and all i could think of was on a side note star wars the force awakens when leia sees han solo for the first time in a very long time and here pop c3po just chatting away corey was c3po in that situation <laughs> corey had no idea that paul and nicole were arguing i'm just like common sense would tell you but you know what Sometimes Corey is on his own plane, just his own plane. So Nicole said that Paul lied about the sympathy vote. Paul didn't lie about that sympathy vote. Everybody in his alliance, or in the main alliance, I should say, because Paul wasn't even included in that alliance. I believe that was still the eight pack. Everybody knew that Paul was not going to vote against Victor. So I don't even know why she's even trying to make that into a kind of lie because if anything, that was pretty awesome that he did that because most people in Big Brother, despite the fact that their friends are not, usually end up voting their friends out of the house. So the fact that Paul could put his friendship with Victor above the game was pretty awesome in my book. Paul says that Nicole manipulated everyone. He reveals something I've been talking about for the past month or so of doing these reviews that Nicole has never been on the block. Paul basically blew up her game and this is literally the third time that Nicole has been called out this season. So it's time to pick players for the veto competition. Michelle, Victor, Paul, and Natalie are basically the default players. They're obviously playing in the game. Michelle ends up picking Corey to play in the game as well because Corey is not the brightest bulb. I'm going to start calling him C-3PO. Not that C-3PO is stupid or anything, but just C-3PO sometimes he lacks common sense obviously because he's a droid so I'm gonna call Corey C-3PO it's nicer than calling him stupid so Paul gets the player's choice chip and he chooses James to play in the veto competition but here's the thing that makes me laugh the most okay the competition is basically like the, I forgot what it's called, like the Big Brother Veto Weather Report type thingy. And the whole point of the competition, even before it started, was that the house guests had to stay up late and keep listening to these different weather reports so that they could study up on it memorize it and get it into their heads so paul was trying to get everybody who was up in the hoh room with him to study and essentially he ended up being the only person who was up until the wee hours of the morning meanwhile nicole and corey were off to do what they do and on a side note i saw another clip of those two and they were bumping uglies and i didn't need to see or hear that thank god that big brother makes them do it under the covers ew but anyway so of course paul is tired and he ends up falling asleep in the big brother bed this becomes a big problem for natalie because natalie goes up to sleep or take a nap in her bed and Paul is in the bed. All Natalie had to do was to be like, Paul, Paul, I want to lay down. Could you leave the room? Paul would have left the room. No. Natalie had to make this into something that was bigger than it was because to be quite honest, 
Throughout the entire season, the HOHs have allowed other people to sleep in the bed. They just get in the bed next to them. Or they tell the person or the people who want to sleep up there, listen, I want just some time to myself. And everybody understands that. Not Natalie. So Natalie's upset. She said that Paul is playing hard and it's scaring her. And then Paul becomes her target again. And James is super happy about this because now that Corey is off her radar and Paul is back on there, now Natalie's focus is where James wants it to be. But on a side note, that whole alliance between Natalie and James and Nicole and... Corey benefits three people, one of which is not Natalie because Natalie is going to take the brunt of the punishment next week because she and Big Meech can't play in the HOH competition on Thursday, so they're both sitting ducks. And if by any chance James and Natalie get nominated... And James wins the veto and pulls himself off. Michelle's going to go on the block. And then Natalie will be sent to the jury house. As far as the veto competition is concerned, Paul had the upper hand, so I'm not surprised that he won. Natalie didn't stay up late. She tried as hard as she could, but she got a 10. Corey and James are just like, the heck with it. I'm not even going to try to win. I don't want the veto. So it came down to... Michelle, Paul, and Victor, and Michelle missed it by one. Victor missed it by two points, and Paul won the veto. Like I said, not surprised. Victor was happy because now he believes that they, meaning himself, Paul, James, Natalie, and Michelle, can continue Operation Backdoor Corey. Paul will essentially use his veto, so Corey is going to have to be the replacement nominee. I mean, who's left? Because she's certainly not going to put up James. <laughs> but then again, she could have put up Nicole, though. And the person who actually... <sighs> Thank you, Big Brother, for making me realize this that had to make the decision to put up the replacement nominee was Michelle. And Paul and Victor make a deal that when either of them win HOH, they're going to put up James and Natalie on the block, which wouldn't have happened if they hadn't been nominated and it had just been Nicole and Corey. Natalie says that... One of them, meaning Nicaray, Nicole and Corey, have to go. Victor has a better chance to stay if Corey is put up. Nicole scares Michelle. And Michelle made a good point when she said, people that sit in corners and keep their noses clean usually win the game. Not the loud ones, not the strong ones. But she forgot about the people who start from the bottom and now they're here. That's another group of people that wins the game as well. So Paul saves himself and Michelle put Corey on the block. And she said it's basically because of strategy and Nicole is highly upset. Nicole is shocked that she's not on the block, but she feels like she has to make sure that Corey stays in the house. Corey is 100% confident that he'll be in the house after Thursday's show. That's the one thing about Big Brother. You can't be too confident from what I've seen over the years. You have to be just a little bit humble. Expect the unexpected. That's what Julie Chen always says. And Victor says he doesn't want to lay down and die. So he's going to continue to fight. And now James has the deciding vote. Out of all the people in the house, they left it up to James. Hopefully James makes the right decision. Because if not... Come next week, or actually this weekend, he and Natalie will end up being nominated. I honestly believe they'll be nominated either way, but that's just me. But you guys take care. I'm Sage Valentine. I will be back tomorrow to review episode number 31. 
Just let me know what you thought of the episode, who you think is going to win, what did you think of the fight, and anything else that you want to chat about, Big Brother 18-wise, anything that you have seen on the feeds. Leave it in the comic box, comic box, comment box below. I love you all. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>